Hey guys, what's up? So today I am going to be doing my nighttime routine. I basically just got back from Whole Foods. I did some grocery shopping. I'm actually going to make myself something to eat. I wanna to try to get the meal cooked and ready to go so by the time Cree's here, he can eat, I can eat, and then it'll be time for Cairo to start winding down. We'll give her a bath, etc. I'm gonna be showing you guys my nighttime routine. all on different schedules. So Cairo is eating right now because she goes to bed earlier. Do you wanna tell everybody what you're eating? <laughs> She's using a fork. I love this fork. It's kind of funky looking, but it helps her, you know, eat. Is it too small? Here, try the big one. Here, try this one. Yes, it basically helps with fine motor skills. There you go, good job, yay! And this is a really cool tray that we have, even though all of the food is like not even in the tray. <laughs> but this you kind of just like put on top of whatever um, high chair she's in. I love this high chair because it grows with her. This is like the best, it's organic. She can have this for a very long time till she's like even five or six years old. Kai Kai, Kai 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 Kai. She's actually eating first because we're really trying to keep her on a schedule. We actually, I know the last video that I did for you guys, um, Corey and I, we were having a hard time sleep training her and putting her in a crib, but actually things are looking pretty good. Keep her on a specific schedule, she's able to go to sleep. So that's why Cairo's eating now and nobody else is eating um, because we're trying to keep her on her schedule. Cree is actually at camp right now. So Cree's gonna be coming in later. I'm gonna be making some pasta um, for myself and Cree. And Corey, he's kind of like on his little thing right now because he's on this diet. So sometimes he doesn't wanna eat meat. Sometimes he wants to eat meat. Sometimes he just does these juices and these smoothies. On the weekends, everybody's on the same schedule and we're all eating together. But today, that's not how it's happening. <laughs> I just heard somebody think we have a visitor. Look who's home. What's up, homie? How are you? What are you doing? Just came back from basketball practice. How did you do? Good. You did well? Swishes. You made some swishes? How many points did you get, buddy? Was that a three point? Yeah. So I'm telling everybody my nighttime routine. You're gonna put on your avocado PJs, okay? I'm just gonna put on her avocado PJs too. We all have avocado PJs. I'll show you guys later. What made you start wearing glasses, buddy? I you, think you, all the time. you think you're cool, huh? <laughs> oh, you, what, what's going on? Now you moved on to your spoon and you're having some, uh, Mashed potatoes, do you want mommy to help you with that? Here. There we go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? <gasps> what? What? Mm. So she's just eating some chicken meatballs with some mashed potatoes, right? And then we have some water here for her drink. It's been very hot out, so we wanna make sure that she's drinking enough water. And these are those cups that I had mentioned about. There are handles on them, and it has this round kind of sprout in a way. Hey, mommy kiss. Okay, you guys, so I'm over here starting to get dinner ready. I love using these pots. This is a Le Creuset. They're some of the best. Um, so I have my water boiling um, for the pasta, and what I like to do to that is I just like to add some salt and then I'm gonna put the noodles in there once I am close to having everything prepared. I'm preparing my mise en place right now, which basically is when you have everything that you need for your dish so that I'm not looking for anything. I have my cheese here, my grater, my olives, my basil, parsley, my spinach, and then I have my pasta 
I'm actually doing some gluten-free pasta. I'm trying to lose these last 15 pounds, y'all. After having a baby, the hardest is like the last 15 pounds. Oh. Cree, come here. So there goes Cree. Cree used to always get sick. And we were like, what is going on? Garrett. And the thing was is that when he would come home, he wasn't changing his clothes. So, you know, a lot of times germs, they stay on your kid's clothes. So if somebody has the flu or if somebody's sick and then it gets on his clothes, it can last on your clothes for a long time. So what we started doing is right after he comes home from school or right after he comes home from camp or even basketball practice, like now, we have him take a bath. So he gets straight in the shower he rinses himself off and then he gets prepared for dinner. So that's one way on how Cree winds down. I can sing really well. I know you can. Do you want to sing some songs? Nope. Why? Singing is in my heart. I don't do that loud. Singing is in Cree's heart, y'all. These are just some tomatoes that I'm using and they're so sweet and I'm gonna cut them up. I'm gonna put all of my pasta in there. Again, I just put some salt in there and then I'm gonna add some olive oil in there, and this olive oil is infused with garlic. Yummy. Put a little bit of that in there, and that helps the pasta to not stick. I have my skillet heating up, adding my spinach, and adding my basil, my olives. Crazy eating Cairo's food. This is looking really good. You like it? It's so good. Okay. The olives is driving me insane. Really? You it's love the really olives? Good. I finished eating and now I'm about to get Cairo. Cairo! 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 Cairo, come here! We like for Cairo to just walk around a little bit, let her food digest, and then we're gonna take her upstairs for her bath, right, Cairo? Yes. Hey, guess what? It's time for us to start going night night. So we read, good night, moon, good night. Turn off all electronics an hour before she goes to bed. I got this really cool rug, be careful. It's like a little rug that has a little nap thing on it, see? You ready to go night night? Like a pillow so she can go night night. Yeah, you ready to go night night? She's a toe walker, she likes to walk on her toes. And so we had to give her heavier shoes so that she can try to stop walking on her toes. Where are you going, Kai Kai? Hey, come on. This is Cairo's bath. We are drawing her bath. I really, really like this big kind of whale situation here. We have this really cute mermaid towel, which is adorable. The whale thing comes with um, a knee pad and kind of like a pad for you to put your elbows and stuff when you're giving her a bath. Hi, Ro is in her avocado PJs. We put some lotion on her. See, she already knows there's some ore gel on there. She already knows what to do. Do you want to hold it? There you go. Good job. Some conditioner in her hair. Just a moisture. Oh, no, we don't put that in there, boo -boo. Oh, <laughs> It's okay. Hey guys, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a hair tutorial with Kyra. What? You want to stand up? You want to stand up? Hey, Boo Boo. Are you showing out for the cameras? I like using this. I love the way it smells. It smells like coconut. I've noticed that with Kyra's curls, her hair is a lot tighter than Crease. But what's so interesting is her hair is a lot thinner than Crease. And that's basically my hair, I have, a, I have a lot of it, but my strands are pretty fine. So she has fine, look, she's combing her hair, guys. She has fine strands, but her t curl is tight. Let's see how you look. Let's see how you look. Are you ready for bed? Are you ready for bed? Yes. We're starting to get ready for night night. And what we'll do is we'll start playing some nursery rhymes and some nursery songs which is an indication and a cue for her to know that it's time to go to bed. So this is a sound machine and it, it makes white noise. Cairo, come here. Here, as you can hear, it has like waves and then it has like all different types of sounds. It has a heartbeat, which is really cool. When she was a baby baby, I would play the heartbeat for her. It's like a night light. And also what it is, you can diffuse 
um, your oils in here, which helps calm her and helps her go to sleep. Hi. Bravo. Good night, moon. Good night, light and red balloon. And good night, socks. Hey, we're not done reading our book. We have to finish reading our book, Kai Kai. Good night, mouse. Oh, yes, you won't go night night. She has a dream catcher in her room now, which I love. And then I have this camera, which is a Nanit, which basically films her um, while she sleeps, but it keeps record and track of how many hours she's sleeping throughout the night. Um, it'll tell you what time she's woken up. Um, it'll tell you how many times. We go night night. You ready? You ready to go night night? <laughs> Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye-bye, say bye-bye. Okay, you guys, now it is time for Cree to go to bed, right? If you want to see my closet, you have to subscribe, maybe one million K. I never heard of one million K, but basically he's asking you to subscribe so we can get one million subscribers. Actually, we're almost at 600,000 right now, and we are so grateful and so thankful for you guys. Okay, so. Let me know in the comments below if you want to um, see Cree's closet. Actually, we can do like um, a closet uh, tutorial for all the closets in the house. Cree always likes to sleep with the night light on. He's doing the same thing. So he's putting his Oil. um, oils in there. Oh, we got to put more water in there, baby. We just put this in there uh, for Cree. It helps them go to sleep. I used to read to him all the time. And these were all the books that we would read to him. And these are all of his trophies from playing basketball. Elizabeth. There we go. Every single night, I give him a kiss and I tuck him in. There you go. Mommy kisses. Mm -hmm. Love you, love you. Love you guys. Okay, you wanna tell everybody good night? Good night to the most Christmas. Now it's time for mommy time. As you can see, my nighttime <laughs> routine is a lot. What you didn't see is a part of his nighttime routine is he does have chores. I think it's really important for you to embed, you know, some chores for your kids. Um, I grew up doing chores in the house. I believe that's one of the reasons why I'm so grateful for everything that I have. I don't want my kids to feel like they have no responsibility. And I think, you know, when you grow up learning how to take care of yourself, learning how to help others in the house, um, you know, also learning that you have a responsibility. I think it'll definitely go somewhere um, in the long run and help them in the long run as they get older. It's almost nine. And this is the time when I ask myself, do I hop in the shower and start doing my nighttime routine now or do I work out? was able to work out. Both of the kids are asleep. Corey was kind enough to uh, watch Cairo on the monitor to let me work out. I got a workout in, so it is 10 o'clock. Um, and now I am starting to do my wind down and get ready for bed. So I have my bath running, bubbles in there, a salt soak. Light some candles as well. Get in the tub and soak it up. All right, you guys, I am out of the tub. As you can see, I have on my avocado PJs. I just think it's the most adorable thing to wake up and, you know, all of the kids have like the same PJs on. I feel good, had a great workout, um, took a really nice uh, bubble bath. Now I'm about to wash my face. So Corey, believe it or not, has like the best stuff for skin. Like he is really, really good at knowing what products are really good for your skin. And I just started using this stuff and it's pretty cool. I actually have a towel warmer. And what I'll do is, is I'll put my towels with some rose water this right here it's really nice and warm and then i'll go ahead and put that on my face if you guys want to see an, um, an extensive skincare routine let me know in the comments below but i'm not going to do that right now 
I love using this toothpaste because I like to drink a lot of tea and um, my uh, teeth are very sensitive. So whenever I use this, my teeth don't get sensitive. I'm gonna put on a toner, this Murad, and this is vitamin C. I always love using vitamin C for my skin just for some reason, I just really feel that it revitalizes it. Clean off the excess dirt. It's crazy how even though when you wash your face, there's just a lot of dirt that's still on your face, you know? There you go, don't forget your neck. And then on top of that, put this Midnight Recovery. Now this stuff, you guys, this stuff is a game changer. I am telling you, Corey introduced me to this and there's actually a day and a night version. You just kind of like squirt it out just like that. You don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. And I just put it on my face like this. And so at night, it just really moisturizes my skin. And then I put it on my neck. And then I put on a lip balm. Maybe you put a little too much to you. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Last but not least, I just use this hydrating mist. I just kind of spray it all over my face. And you know, basically my night routine is all about rehydrating my skin. When you live in California, it's dry. It's basically like a desert. So it's all about just making sure that I revitalize my skin and giving it lots of um, moisture. And what I also like to do is just put on a little bit of Kiehl's like this and on my arms. Look at how pretty and like, dewy and just glowy my skin is. And as you can see, I really didn't do too much. Just hydrated it. Looks really nice and glowy. All right, you guys. So I am ready to go to bed. The kids, they have their diffuser, so I have mine too. But what I like about mine is it's natural. I'm actually just using a candle. And then I have all of these different scents that I can use to help us go to sleep. Let me know in the comments below if you like to see my morning routine um, or any other routine that I have, whether that's just going to the grocery store or what would you like to see from me from you know the vlog perspective. Um, even if that's like midnight discussions, kind of like what's on my mind at night, what I'm thinking about, um, I will totally do that for you. I think that's a sign from my husband, Corey, that it is time to go to bed. <laughs> Good night.